Okay, guys. So this first video is essentially just explaining like what we're doing, what's important about essay bootcamp. And then I'm going to make more videos like detailing each day and like what needs to be done and how you need to do it. Okay. So for day one, the first thing that we did is we had a post-it. Not everybody's post-it was pink. Some of you had like fluorescent or yellow or whatever, but you should have four things on your post-it. Okay. So have that out and it'll help you with this video. So first things first, like what is essay bootcamp? Okay. Essay bootcamp is a project that I do in the fall and in the spring. It's a summative grade, right? My averages are always really high. Lots of kids get A's in it. Okay. And it's essentially a project where you are going to be constructing eight essay outlines, right? Let me say that again. You're doing eight essay outlines. You're not going to write a full essay, right? But we're going through the process of what it takes to write a full essay. You're doing it eight times. Okay. This is going to help us drill the process of how it, how it, how it goes. Like what's step one, what's step two. Well, you're going to be doing it eight times. By the time we get to the spring essay bootcamp, you'll have 16 total essay outlines ready to go for you to study before your test in May. Okay. So that's what essay bootcamp is. It's you taking the next week to do eight essay outlines and turn those into me. Okay. Now on your post-it, the first thing you should have written down was get a three prong folder. All of your work is going to go in beautiful order in this three prong folder. And I have a document to like tell you everything, how it needs to be. So make sure you get that. Okay. The second thing you should, oh, and also said, take your binder home. No more binders. Like I'm looking at it right now. It's just, it's too much. Take your binder home. We don't need it. It was a good idea, but it failed. Two, this is due next Tuesday, December 19th. If you want to turn it in Monday at the end of class, you can for 5% extra credit. Now, here's the thing. If you're in first period and you don't turn it in by the end of first period, I'm not giving you extra credit. Not at the end of second or third or fourth or fifth. You don't send me a picture that you have it at the house. Like I need it in my hands by the end of the period in order for you to earn extra credit. Otherwise, turn it in on Tuesday. The third thing you wrote on your post-it is no code, no grade. We have a coding system that I'm going to give you this tomorrow. Some classes I gave it to you today, but I'm going to give you this tomorrow. How to code, what does it say? Everything. See, everything's going to be coded in a very, very specific way. And I'm going to instruct you on how to do this day by day by day. We're going to kind of take it slow. Um, this is also posted so you can make sure everything is perfect. Okay. If it's not coded correctly, I'm going to take off points. The last thing, everything is on Schoology. Everything that we're doing every single day is posted. Okay, I've got the PowerPoint posted. I have your packet. I have your thesis cheat sheet and how everything is coded. That's posted as well. These videos, you're going to watch these videos to help you work through it day by day by day. Um, so even if you miss a day or if you're confused, if you're not asking questions in class or you start working on this at home, the video should help and everything posted should definitely help you. Some of the side notes for essay boot camp. Um, and I tried to make sure I said this to every single class. We are working on this for the next week in class. You are not working on anything else from your other classes while essay boot camp is in motion. I don't care about what's going on in Calc. I mean, I care about you guys. And I do really love the Calc teachers at our school. But you're not doing that work. You're doing my work because I want to see what you're struggling with. And I want my whole goal for essay boot camp is to teach y'all how to write. But most importantly, I want one-on-one -on -one time with all of you. And that's really hard because there's over 30 of you in each one of my classes. So I have almost 190 students and I'm going to be going from student to student asking to see your thesis statements, asking to see what your context is. Um, do you have day one, handled, like your key terms? Do you know how to code it? Um, and I'm even going to like give my initials on some parts that I know you're going to turn in. And that's me telling me that I've already looked at your stuff. And that way, when I grade, I know that we had a one-on-one -on -one and I know you know what you're doing. And I'm not going to spend my time grading that because I already know we're in a good place. Okay. So again, essay boot camp is a project that I do every year. You're turning in eight essay outlines, one of which is a DBQ. Okay. Any questions about anything at any time? right? When you're working on this at home or even in class, make sure you write them down. If you're in class, just holler. I'll get to you as soon as I can. If you're at the house, write them down, bring them the next day. And then that way I know you're working towards getting this like, well, it's not an easy A. 
it's a lot of hard work. But if you do the work and you trust the process, you're going to have an awesome study guide prior to the test. You're going to have tons of experience in essay writing. And you're actually going to know how to write a really good essay, right? And there's, I mean, there's so many other things that you're going to gain because of this, okay? So good luck. Please watch my other videos. I'm recording them day by day by day to help you as much as I can stay focused and stay on target with what is expected from you.